Hi, folks. Steve Urban here. Hey, somebody recently, they asked me or challenged me on why, as a podcast host, I don't uh, take sides or speak out on my social media regarding hot topics, uh, political topics, social issues, um, things like that, whatever the topic might be, right? Um, I mean, we can go all the way back to uh, COVID or um, Ukraine, um, I don't know, whatever hot topic, I, <laughs> you pick it. Uh, I'm recording this on July 5th, 2022, and the current uh, hot topic in social media is uh, the Roe versus Wade and the Supreme Court thing. I mean, you name it. I mean, it's just, it seems like once every three or four months, there's another big topic that everybody is uh, politically or socially that everybody's screaming about or taking sides on uh, in their social media. So anyway, Recently, I was uh, somebody challenged me to say, "Hey, you know, as a podcast host, how come how come you don't uh, take sides on things, etc." Now, I've been challenged on that before, and um, usually, I, it, it, I'm not bothered by that challenge. But recently, uh, this particular individual also said to me, "He goes, well." by not taking a side on something, I know your side. <laughs> I, th I thought, what? I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> you know, don't be making assumptions, uh, you know, on any topic. Just because I don't say anything doesn't mean you know uh, how I feel about a particular issue. And I got really irritated by that. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? No, you don't. Don't be making assumptions. <laughs> but anyway, the reason for this particular episode is I wanted to share with you 10 reasons. I'm going to share 10 reasons why I do not, uh, as a CEO of a company and as a podcast host, take sides on hot political or social topics on social media. Here's why I don't do that. And these are not in any particular order. They're not ranked, but there are 10 of them, and I'm going to share them with you. you ready? Here we go. Number one, I do, I never want to take a side on a topic as a CEO of a company, assuming that everybody on my team feels the same way. I, I think it's selfish for a CEO to make a statement for the company when there's a bunch of employees. Why? Why would I assume that all of my team members feel like me? I, I, don't, I don't think they want me assuming how they feel about a topic and speaking for the group as if we all feel the same way. I know that they don't, right? <laughs> I mean, every major issue that's debated about in the country, usually it's like a 50-50 split for the most part. I mean, you could argue, okay, sometimes it's 60 40 you know, 70, 30, whatever. I mean, uh, but but most of the time when there's an argument about a big talk about topic in social media, it's pretty evenly split down the down the down the middle. <clears throat> Just like voting in America, right? Like all the presidential elections. I mean, it's pretty damn close, right? Like 50 50 for the most part. So I never want to make a statement as the CEO for Riderflex that says, Hey, um, I know everybody's arguing about the color purple versus the color yellow. And as a CEO for Riderflex, we believe in purple. Like, I, I, why would I do that? Maybe some people on my team don't like purple. Maybe they like yellow instead. So I'm not going to make assumptions and speak for them. Um, so that's number one. Uh, that's my first point is I, I never want to make a statement for all of my team members when I know some of them feel different about different things. That's, that would be selfish of me as a CEO, and I would never do that. Number two, I'm not out to piss people off with my social media. <laughs> I don't want to piss off vendors. I don't want to make uh, current clients mad, 
And I sure as hell don't want to chase off potential prospects uh, that we're trying to land as a recruiting firm because I speak out on a hot topic. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> I, don't, uh, I see business owners like taking a side on a topic. I'm like, even politically, right? Like even during the elections or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know. I, I want Democrats and Republicans as clients. <laughs> <laughs> so bottom line is I'm not out to uh, alienate or demonize uh, or piss people off or in certain groups in any way. That's not what I use social media for. <laughs> and that leads me to my next point, which is number three, which is I'm out to grow my following and to get more views and more attention on the company. That's what I use social media for. Uh, I'm not out to chase off particular groups on any particular topic. I love everybody. <laughs> number four. Number four is this. I really don't give a crap what your thoughts are on hot social topics or political beliefs. Like, I really don't care. <laughs> Therefore, I'm assuming you don't care what I think. <laughs> when it comes to a hot topic of any kind, right? Whatever we're debating about as a country. When I see people like, oh, I just want to let you know why purple is better than yellow. I'm like, well, I don't really give a shit what you think about the color purple versus the yellow. Uh, I care about business and uh, uh, things like that on, on LinkedIn. Commerce, right? Um, I don't care what your, your social beliefs are. Gun control, abortion, I don't you name it, whatever topic we're arguing about, right? Like, I really don't care. So I don't care what you think about those topics. Therefore, I'm assuming you don't care what I think, which is another reason I don't share. I mean, on number four, let me just go even further. I don't even share those topics with casual acquaintances that I meet in person, right? So why would I think a stranger connected to me on LinkedIn would give a shit? <laughs> we had some, we had some uh, folks over uh, last night, our neighbors who we uh, recently got together with, um, casual, a couple of beers on the back porch for July 4th. Do you think I just started blurting out everything I believe about social topics or political topics to, to them? Like, no, what, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Therefore, why would I do it to complete strangers on LinkedIn? <laughs> okay, number five. Number five is this. You're not changing my mind, okay? <laughs> what I, sometimes I think people post about a hot topic on social media. They get really mad about it, right? Super aggressive. And they're posting it. And I'm thinking, okay, are you doing this to just like, does it make you feel better? inside or do you actually think you're going to change somebody's mind with these comments let me just tell you right now you're not going to change anybody's mind <laughs> you're not changing anybody's mind with any hot topic everybody already feels a certain way about certain things just because they see your little rant on linkedin about why purple is better than yellow they're not going to change their minds okay if they already like yellow they like yellow okay <laughs> It's usually using these colors as, a, as examples because it's always some different topic. So number five is you're not going to change anybody's mind, okay? Uh, so And I'm not going to change yours. That's why I don't post about this stuff. Number six, I think social media should be used to give back and help and create commerce and business, right? You're out to build your networks. You're out to gain potential clients. You're out to learn about vendors. You're out to find candidates that you might want to hire. Um, you're trying to build up your social media. Um, I think that's what social media should be used for. I, I, I Maybe I'm uh, narrow-minded in that because I own a business and I think that way, right? As a business owner, I'm like, man, I'm not, I'm not on here to, I'm on here to teach, educate, and, and inform people about what we do for a living. And all of my, most of my messages are tied to 
what we do for a living in some way, job interviewing tips, uh, hiring tips, um, career stuff, like almost everything I do is, is tied around that. Right. Um, and so I, th I think that's the best way to use social media is tie it into what you're doing as a, as a business owner as much as possible and how it relates to your business in some way. Jumping way over to a particular side on a social media topic away from your business is, I think is a bad idea. Number seven, people that, what, what they call virtue signaling, right? You see this virtue signaling is a new term. Virtue signaling, I think what that means is, um, hey, here's a new hot topic. So I'm going to post about it just so I can get some views and people can see me. <laughs> it, Meanwhile, you look at that person's feed on LinkedIn and there's nothing else in there that is educational or informative or helps people in any other way. They're just posting because there's a new hot topic on social media and they want people to look at them. And now they're posting just for that reason, like using a hot social topic just as a reason to post to get views. I think that's embarrassing for you as the, as the person that's posting. Uh, and I think it's, uh, I don't know what, what's the word I'm looking for. I think it's uh, maybe selfish is the word I'm looking for. No, I don't know. Um, but I just, I, it's, it's annoying. I, I, when I see that, I'm like, okay, you're, you know, here's a new topic and you figured if you could post about it, that you could get some views because you know, it'll help you in some way, but it doesn't, it doesn't help you. Does it help you? Uh, virtue signaling is uh, is uh, shameful, I think, a little bit, in my opinion. Okay, next, number eight. I'm not running for office. <laughs> I'm not a politician. Most of you posting, you're not politicians. So I know you don't care what I think about certain things on politically and socially, and I don't give a shit what you think. Okay, now, if you're running for office or you're like an commissioner in my county or a mayor that I'm voting for or the governor or whatever, uh, and you're running for office, then maybe I care about what your beliefs are on things. But like some CEO of a company, like that's a vendor for us, like, I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit what you think. <laughs> so I'm not running for office. You're not running for office. Nobody cares. Um, next, number nine. This goes right with number eight, which is, do I have strong opinions on most things? Yes. How do I speak about it? By voting. <laughs> that's, that's how I take care of it. I vote. That's the best I can do because I know posting on social media ain't going to do anything except waste time. And by the way, that, that really is a key point there that I forgot to mention. I'm on number nine, but I just forgot to mention that. It's a waste of time. In fact, I'm wasting time doing this episode. <laughs> you're wasting time. You're wasting precious minutes because nobody gives a shit what you think. Okay. Nobody cares. You're just going to piss people off. Okay. Think about it. Now think about this for a second. Here, here's a really key point. The people that already like you and are connected to you and enjoy doing business with you and enjoy seeing your post. Those people, they already love you. You don't need to pick a side on something to change that. They're not going to like you more, right? If they, if they like you and they're following you, they already like you. You don't need to pick a side to get more love from them. All you're going to do is alienate the other people. Number 10. Another reason I don't post. I'm not educated enough to speak on it. Most of the time, I'm, I read, readily admit that I am ignorant to all of the details and facts about most big hot topics. And guess what? So are you. <laughs> you read a few headlines in Twitter and you think you know everything about a hot topic. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> so, I mean... You really don't even understand it. Most of the time, when I see people post most, most of the time, I'm like, you don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> so I don't post because I know I'm ignorant to all of the facts and details. 
So I don't speak on things that I'm not educated about. Okay. Super educated about. Okay, so those are my top, or those are my 10 things I could probably go on and on and on. Now, here are two bonus things. Okay, two, here's, here's two bonus comments to, to, to wrap this up. If you are in the market for a job, if you are currently interviewing, job hunting, okay, I strongly recommend <laughs> that you do not go crazy picking sides on hot social topics or making comments on social media about whatever it is we're arguing about as a country. Like, I just don't recommend it. Okay, first, well, let me, let me be clear. I don't, I don't recommend it at any point, but especially if you're in the job market and you're interviewing and recruiters or hiring managers, they're all looking you up on social media and they see your, crazy rants or whatever. I mean, you're just taking a chance and, and, and pissing people off. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Stop doing that. Okay. Do you, what do you think? You're actually going to go to work for a company where all the employees in the company believe exactly like you. You're not. <laughs> okay. If you put up hundred people in a room, okay. Random people chosen in a room, hundred people there, you're going to have all kinds of different thoughts. So why would you think, okay, you, to stop living in a fantasy world where you think you're going to go to work for a company where everybody loves purple, okay? That's not reality. So when you're interviewing, don't piss off people that might like yellow <laughs> with all your comments on social media, okay? I said I had two bonus tips for you, but actually that was the last one right there. It's just, I highly recommend you're careful uh, when you're interviewing for a job. So Anyway, to wrap it up, and the reason for this podcast episode one more time is I have been challenged on why I don't speak out on hot topics and take sides, and I wanted to give you all of my reasons. Those are the first 10 that I came up with. I could probably go on and on and on and on about it. I just don't think it's a good idea, okay? It's just not a good idea. I don't recommend it. Now, I'm sorry, one last thing. <laughs> if you are taking sides and posting on social media, while I don't think it's a good idea and I disagree with your strategy on it, doesn't mean I don't love you. <laughs> okay? Doesn't mean we can't be friends. Even if you're posting on something that I disagree with, which you'll never find out if I disagree because you'd have to get a bunch of beers in me and ask me in private. Uh, but I'm still going to love you. Okay. Okay. If you like, if I like purple and you like yellow, that's cool. We can still be friends. Okay. We can still do business together. <laughs> oh, and there is your Rider Flex tip of the day.